Looks like we have everybody in the room. Welcome everyone to our virtual Donuts and Decisions Day. We're so excited that you were able to join us. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. So um, I'm really happy that you took the time to log on, even if maybe it's on your phones while you're out enjoying the beautiful weather. Um, if you have the ability to turn on your cameras, we would love to see your smiling faces um, so that we can put names and faces together because we know we've all been talking to you. Um, I also wanted to just take a quick minute to introduce everybody that's on the call with me today um, that you'll be hearing from. Um, first, I'm going to introduce to you Jaime Ramos. He is our high school outreach coordinator. Um, he will actually be presenting to you in a little bit. Um, we also have Amy Rocliffe, who is also our high school outreach coordinator, um, and she will be um, entertaining you with some donut jokes throughout, but she has the most important job at the end with some door prizes. Um, so definitely stick around um, to win some gift cards. Um, and then we also have Amy Reinhold, who is our um, admissions counselor. Um, she deals with our um, physical therapy assistant program, primarily um, our healthcare management, um, and then some of our specialties. And then I also have joining me Kelly Fox. She's our financial planning coordinator um, and she'll be handling um, all the money um, when you're coming to school. So she's an important person to get to know. And then um, I didn't even take a minute to introduce myself. I'm Lisa Seifert. I am the director of recruitment here at Central Penn. So some of you guys may have already been speaking with me. You probably all got reminders for me today about the event. So we're all here to help you every step of the way as you're going through this process. Um, one other reminder is um, most of you guys have your name um, on the screen. Um, if you don't have your name and you have um, something else um, on there, if you could just please put your um, first and last name so we can get attendance for you today. Um, because if you have not already come in for an interview, had a Zoom interview, a phone interview with us, this actually does count as your um, interview today. Um, so if you haven't taken the time to also put um, the interview sheet and return it and submit it to us. Um, definitely do that um, over the next day or two um, so we can count that for you as well. So anyways, I will not bore you um, with more introductions, um, but you're probably here because you don't know, don't know what to do with your future. Oh, I cracked myself up with that one. Um, so um, we're here to help you a little bit today um, and you came to the right place. So actually Jaime is gonna tell you a little bit about why Central Pen is a sweet choice for you. Um, and then we'll also have how financial aid can assist you. And um, then we'll do a brief tour so you can see what campus looks like. And um, then we'll do some questions and answers and door prizes. So if you have questions throughout um, the presentation today, don't hesitate, put it in the chat feature. Um, I'll be monitoring that and then we'll get to, uh, we'll actually read all the questions out loud at the end and then we'll, whoever best suited to answer that question, um, we'll get that answered for you. Um, so thank you again for joining us and I'm gonna turn this over to Jaime. Sounds great. Thank you to our amazing host. And before we officially begin, we will now have another donut joke from Amy Wilcliffe providing us with her words of wisdom for the day. This is my job, folks. Why did the donut go to the dentist? It needed a filling. That is correct. It did. Going off of that, <laughs> we will now go into talking about what makes Central Penn so sweet. If you aren't super familiar with Central Penn College, assuming you guys somewhat are because you guys are considering us, we are located in Somerdale, Pennsylvania, about 10 minutes away from Harrisburg. Here on this slide is our mission statement, providing opportunities to students from a variety of academic backgrounds by providing education needed for employment and advancement in their fields. We are a career-focused educational institution, and our goal for you guys here from day one until the day you graduate is to get you ready for whatever that career may be, whatever you're studying and whatever you hope to accomplish. That is what we strive for through faculty, small faculty to student ratio and phenomenal student services, which we'll talk all about over the next few minutes. On our next slide, you'll see eight reasons why people love Central Penn. 
Our first one, oh, actually, we're going to be doing a poll. Apologies, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, so the first thing we're going to do with our poll is two questions. The first one is, what are you most excited about as you think about college? This is an exciting time for you guys. You guys are getting to that independent stage, possibly going to be living on the campus you go to, and you're going to be meeting new people. And we're curious to know if that's what excites you in addition to the two other things with sports and activities and classes. And then our second part is what are your top three factors into your college decision-making process? Let us know. You have academics, athletics, student life, and other options as well. All righty. Everybody is participating, which is awesome. We are now sharing the results. And of course, everybody's different, which is great. Everybody has their own interests and everybody has something that excites them, as well as the three important factors for them in the decision-making process. So thank you for participating. We're actually gonna do a few more polls throughout the, throughout the presentation. So do stay engaged and on top of that. We will now stop the share results and we will continue. So eight reasons people love Central Penn. One of the big ones is you can earn your degree faster. Uh, with earning your degree faster with us at Central Penn, you get four 11-week terms throughout the year and then two-week breaks in between, which is great. Uh, so you'll be having classes almost all year round, uh, but then you also get those breaks in between, which is really good. You also get a 15 to 1 student-faculty ratio, so the professors will know you and you will know your professors. Online and in-person classes, so whichever your preference is, you can do that. Uh, professionalism is one of our hallmarks here. That's something we pride ourselves on. So that's really important to us too. Housing scholarships. I'll let Kelly talk about that later. That's her specialty. Uh, transfer credit evaluation. So if you had any AP classes you took or anything like that, we're more than welcome to transfer over those credits uh, depending on where they're from, of course. Sports and activities. If you're an athlete, that's something we're, we are big on here as well. And then academic support from counseling to tutoring to success coaches. We have it all here. We'll be with you from day one to make sure you succeed. Whether you're considering a bachelor's, an associate's, or a certificate program, we have tons, we have tons of options here for you at Central Penn. Here's a list of most, some of our certificate programs. Some of these are new and exciting initiatives for us. Uh, credit and also a non-credit personal training certificate program. So if you're thinking in addition to what you're already studying, doing a certificate or just a certificate, we have options for you. And let's say, for example, you have a strong idea of what you want to do and you're saying to yourself, maybe I want to get it quicker or maybe I just want to do two years and figure out what I want to do after that. We have options for you as well with associate's degrees. And then as you'll see on this next slide, we also have our four-year bachelor's degrees. This is some of our most popular programs that you'll see right here. Uh, so again, definitely consider what you are passionate about with studying and if we have that for you definitely consider joining us and we would love to have you and educate you in the best possible way. Another new exciting initiative we are pushing here is our intersections and minors. As you can see, we have three different intersections with community and multiculturalism, health and wellness, and then popular culture and society, as well as a variety of minors that we're currently working on. So this is an exciting time to be joining Central Penn as we're getting a bunch of new academic initiatives going on. And then last but not least, we have some exciting programs for graduate level ships, specifically our master's degree program. So if you love Central Penn so much and you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm going to keep going there, then we have an organizational leadership master's degree, as well as an athletic training master of science of five years with us in Slippery Rock. And then we have a two plus three Juris Doctorate law degree thing that we're doing with Widener University. So absolutely consider your options. And then just touching base again on the accelerated terms, this is something that really stands out for everybody at Central Penn. The idea that they can do 11-week classes four times throughout the year and you get your degree quicker. So rather than having to earn a certificate degree in maybe a year, you can earn it in as little as nine months. Uh, rather than having to do your associate's degree in two years, you can do it in as little as 15 months. Rather than having to do your bachelor's degree in four years, you can earn it as little as three years. And if you're a super, super hard worker, getting the master's degree quicker in a year and a half, that's a popular option for our students who really want to get right into the work field, especially with us as a college, we are a career-centered, focused educational institution. 
And accreditations and approvals really go a long way too. This is something we like to highlight because this is something that employers look for sometimes when they're deciding whether to hire you or not. Uh, they wanna know that you have been accredited and that you're coming from an institution where the education has been approved and basically accredited in its own sense. So we have that for our legal study and paralegal program, medical assistant, occupational therapy assistant, and physical therapy assistant. And maybe some of you have been working with Amy Reinhold, so I'm sure she's been telling you all about that <laughs> with our PTA program being accredited. And then our campus amenities. Uh, at the end, near the end of the presentation, we'll be showing you our campus tour, which I may or may not have been a part of, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. <laughs> and just in general, um, we have a beautiful small campus that provides so many things. There's so much to see at Central Penn, uh, so many ways to get involved, activities. The possibilities are really endless with us. So these are just a few of the things we have in this list right here of campus amenities. And again, with activities and getting involved, it's been proven that if you can get involved in some way, whether it's at athletically or through a club, you do earn better grades because you're learning how to balance your time with time management. And that is something we pride ourselves on here as well, whether it's through sports or whether it's through clubs, definitely get involved in some way at Central Penn. That's something we really pride ourselves on. And then our student services. Uh, maybe you heard in high school that you, once you get there, kind of on your own to an extent, it's just you and your friends are home and your family are at home. But really at Central Penn, you're not on your own. You will have the tools you need to succeed through our career counselors with, from our learning center, from our academic advisors, to our counselors, our Office of Equity and Multicultural Affairs, and then with our new first year experience director and Janet Bixler, you will have all the tools you need to succeed academically, emotionally, and we'll be there with you from day one until the day you graduate to make sure that happens. Campus housing. This is always something that's very exciting to everybody. This time I won't get ahead of myself. We do have a poll that we're gonna share for this one here. And with campus housing, this is always exciting uh, because if you are excited to move on your own and have your own place, then that's something that's really neat at Central Penn because rather than having a roommate at Central Penn, you get suite mates, which is really nice. So if you per se are somebody who likes to have your own space, then you have that. But you also will have five or six other people living with you in a suite. And we're also we're curious to know in addition to having your own room, what would you do first to make your dorm or, or for us a super suite feel like your home? Are you gonna be hanging your decorations, organizing your closet, filling the fridge, which is what I did. That was the first thing I did. <laughs> or will you be grabbing a snack with your new suite mates? Let us know what you're most looking forward to with your new room. Okay, now we're gonna share the results. Hang decorations. That's always exciting. Sometimes you kind of just want to get that out of the way. <laughs> so that's that definitely was the majority. Organize the closet, fill the fridge. Totally agree with the person who that was. And then grabbing a snack with your roommates. So everybody, of course, has different interests and priorities for say on what they're looking to do when they get into their new place. So that's always exciting. And then in addition to uh, having your own room, you'll also get 24 seven access with uh, security as well as free parking. And who doesn't like free parking, of course. And going back to the slide we were just at, graduate success, how we measure, su measure success at Central Penn is very different. We just don't look off of the idea that, oh, a student got a job and they're doing well. We look off of the success of if a student got a job and what they studied. The hard work that they put in between those two to four years, is it a job within the field that they really, really worked hard to get? And that number for us is 90.6% of our students were employed in their chosen field or continuing their education within one year of graduation. How do we make that happen? Through a phenomenal career services department that will provide you the tools for majoring career exploration. They'll have career expos and job internship fairs, mock interviews. They also have a career closet where they give away free clothing. We like free stuff at Central Penn, so take advantage of anything that's free. And just in general, we have a phenomenal faculty that really helps our students to figure out what they might want to discern for their vocation and their work. So definitely consider um, us in that sense that we really will be there for you to help you when it comes time to look for the job. And then one of the last things I want to talk to you about is our Alumni Association. 
from day one, you will be an associate level with membership when it comes to our alumni association. So everything you see here with these benefits of PSCCU member eligibility, subscription to the Penn to Alum Magazine, and free gifts for showing up to alumni engagement offices for your next course registration, you will be with us from day one in our alumni association because you are a part of the family. So that's always great. Then the very last thing I want to talk to you about per se is our admissions process. We have a very simple four-step admissions process. First step is basically go on centralpen.edu and apply. Uh, second, submit a 500 word essay to us on your involvement in school. I'm sure you've written at least a one page paper per se when you're in high school. So think of it like that, a single one page paper, single spaced. And just tell us about who you are, what you do and what makes you you. Third, submit your college or high school transcripts to us. Let us know, of course, your grades, because that's important. And then last but not least, a campus interview. However, Lisa Seifert did mention to you that this would count as your campus interview. So boom, you already got that out of the way as well. So that is ourself in the admissions process. And if you're interested in learning more about us, definitely go for downloading the app because there's so much to learn on the app. A lot of our students, almost all of our students have that app downloaded here because it really gets them engaged in the community. And before I give it to Kelly, I will now give it back to, oh, Amy, you're doing a donut joke later, right? Your second donut joke will be later, correct? Oh no, I'm doing a donut joke right now. More words of wisdom for you guys. I know you can't wait to hear it. What kind of donut likes to fly? A plain one. Never oh, forget. Amy, you're a tough act to follow. As Lisa said, my name is Kelly and I will be walking you through the financial aid process as you work through the admissions process at Central Penn. So what is financial aid? Financial aid consists of grants and scholarships, which is money that you do not have to pay back. So when you complete your FAFSA form, we'll check your eligibility for the federal Pell Grant, the federal SEOG grant, and if you're a Pennsylvania resident, the state via grant. Central Penn has a lot of scholarships on our website, which I'll be reviewing with you later. And then there are loans. I will tell you that a majority of students attending Central Penn do borrow federal student loans to help bring down their out-of-pocket expenses. So what is required to process your financial aid? The FAFSA. It is the free application for federal student aid, and you as seniors would be completing the 21-22 FAFSA using you and your parents' 2019 taxes. For those of you that are just finishing up your junior year and heading into your senior year, you'll be completing the 22-23 FAFSA that will open in October. And then if you are planning to use student loans, you would be completing both the entrance counseling and master promissory note at the studentloans.gov website. So what is the FAFSA? It determines your eligibility for the free money from the federal government. You will complete this every year that you're in college based off previous year's taxes. You can list up to 10 schools on the FAFSA form. And what's great is they've actually added um, the IRS data retrieval tool. So you can pull all of your tax information over from the IRS without having to sit there and look through your taxes to answer the question. So what goes on the FAFSA form? If you are a dependent student, it is your information and your parents' information. If you're an independent student, it's just your information, or if you're married, your spouse's. So what makes someone independent? You would need to be 24, a veteran, enrolled in a graduate or professional program, married, an orphan or ward of the court, or have legal dependents that you provide more than 50% support for. So if you don't meet any of that criteria, you would need to have a parent on the FAFSA form. We also get information or questions about what parent goes on the FAFSA. So if you live with just mom, then just mom would be on the FAFSA form. If your parent that you live with is remarried, it would be your parent and their spouse on the FAFSA. So the FAFSA is looking for the household income. So whoever's in the household is the information that needs to be placed on the FAFSA so that we can determine your financial need. 
So deadlines. For you that are Pennsylvania residents, we want to make sure your FAFSA is filed as soon as possible if you haven't completed it yet. So FIA has a deadline of May 1st. Once in a while, they do extend that out. So we want to make sure if you haven't completed your FAFSA yet and you're looking at attending school this upcoming year, you get it submitted as soon as possible so we can try and get you through the FIA process. For those of you that are juniors on this phone call, you'll be completing your FAFSA again in October and your deadline will be May 1st for the state grant of next year. You'll always be using previous year's taxes to answer all of the questions. And again, you can use that IRS data retrieval tool so that you can pull all the tax information over onto the FAFSA without having to worry about making any errors. So let's talk about the grant eligibility. If you complete the FAFSA form and your expected family contribution falls between zero and 5712, you will qualify for a federal Pell Grant somewhere between $639 and 6345 for the year. The federal SEOG grant, again, it's school by school. So our awards vary anywhere from $225 to $1,500. You must be Pell Grant eligible to be considered for the federal SEOG grant. And then the state FIA grant is for Pennsylvania residents. You must maintain what's called academic progress. So FIA tracks you as you move schools. So if you start at Central Penn and transfer to another school, they would need your Central Penn transcripts to make sure that you've made academic progress, that you have a 2.0 or you're passing 66% of your classes. So grades are a very important part of keeping your financial aid, whether it's for the state or the federal Pell Grant. Scholarships. Scholarships are a very important part of a financial aid package. So for those of you that are seniors now and looking at attending Central Penn this summer or fall, all the scholarships are open. So you can go right to our scholarship webpage and apply for anything that you're eligible for. For those of you that are juniors, our scholarships will be opening in October when the FAFSA opens for you to apply for them. So if you meet the criteria listed on the website, please submit the essay. We are still continuing to accept scholarship applications. We also match outside scholarships up to $1,000. So if you would receive an outside scholarship, we would again match that up to $1,000. That's how important we feel that scholarships are to a financial aid package. I do like to talk about loans. Most students here do take out student loans to reduce how much they're paying out of pocket each month. So when you receive your financial aid award letter, if you've applied for loans, you'll see their subsidized loans and unsubsidized loans. If you receive subsidized loans, the government will actually pay the interest for you while you're in school. If you receive unsubsidized loans, then you are responsible for the interest. You can, and we recommend that if you can, that you do pay the interest while you're in school, but you're not required to. And if you don't, then the interest will capitalize on your loan. The government does limit how much you can borrow. So as a freshman dependent student for the year, you would get 5,500. And if you're an independent student, you'd get 9,500. And as you progress through your degree, you'd be eligible for additional funds um, in student loans. And then we have Parent PLUS loans. These are loans that parents can borrow in their name to assist with your education. So if there is still a cost to attend after all the scholarships, grants, and student loans, then parents can borrow money in their name to help bring down your out-of-pocket expense. And if they're not eligible to borrow Parent PLUS loan, we can then increase student loans in your name. Textbooks. Textbooks are a very important part of what makes you successful at Central Penn. And although I know you've probably heard, oh, you don't really need books in college, here at Central Penn, you need books. So we tell students to prepare for about $350 to $450 um, dollars in books each term. Now we do provide ISBN numbers, so you can purchase books at uh, websites other than ours. Our bookstore is completely online. If you do have fin extra financial aid funds, you can use that for your books. We do issue you book vouchers to students right after the tuition bills are due. So you could use your financial aid to help purchase your books. So for those of you who are seniors who are thinking, oh, I'm not sure like when I'm going to get started, we have a summer term that actually begins on Monday, July 5th. And I know that sounds like it's coming up, but it is certainly not too late to enroll for our summer term. We also offer an incentive to students to start in the summer. It's a $2,000 early start grant. So you would receive a scholarship for $500 a term for your first four terms just for starting in our summer term, which again begins July 5th. 
And we also have a fall term that begins October 4th. So I know a lot of schools, they start in August. Our fall term actually begins October 4th because as Jaime said, we're on that quarter system. So 11 weeks on, two weeks off. So our fall term begins in October. And again, it is not too late if you are a senior to apply for either of these terms. For those of you who are entering into your senior year, so you're just wrapping up your junior year, now is also the time to apply. So you can have your transcript sent when you finish up your junior year, and you can actually know if you've been accepted in June of this year before your senior year even begins. And then of course our term starts for, would be in July or October of 2022. So as Jaime mentioned, we are offering free housing. So what that means is we cover the cost of the actual super suite, and then you as a student are only responsible for the utilities and meal plan. So what's great is you can use this housing scholarship for up to eight terms. And then if you meet the criteria, you can also then reapply to finish up your degree. There is a housing contract you would have to complete because you do need to have a GPA of at least a 2.0. You do need to take 12 or more credits to be considered a full-time student, agree to all the housing program guidelines and procedures, and be somewhere between the ages of 17 and 30 at the time of the scholarship. And there's more information on our website at centralpenn.edu slash housing scholarship. This is all my contact information. If you have any questions concerning your actual situation about the financial aid, feel free to reach out through phone or email. All right, and I'm gonna turn it back over to Lisa. All right, thank you, Kelly. All right, so this is my contact information. Um, so there you have my cell phone. So if you have questions after this or as you're um, going through this process, feel free to reach out and call me or text me, um, you can. And then um, also, I just saw a question pop up in the chat about how to apply. This is the link there, the www.centralpen.edu backslash apply. Um, so if you go to that link, it is a free application. It usually takes probably about 10 minutes to fill out. Um, it is about to drop down menus. So um, it's not difficult um, to apply. And then once we get your application, we will reach out to you and walk you through the next steps on how to get accepted. Um, if you aren't sure you're ready to apply yet, um, you can feel free to scan um, the QR code um, on the cell phone there, and that'll take you to a virtual inquiry card. Um, so that'll just gather some information so then we are able to reach out to you and help answer any further questions um, that you may have as well. Um, so at this point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a brief tour, but don't forget, stay on for after the tour because we do have door prizes and we also um, want to get all the rest of your questions answered too. So if you think of anything while you're watching the tour, please put it in the chat um, and then we'll get those questions um, as soon as this is over. So enjoy the tour. Welcome to Central Penn College. My name is Amy Rocliffe, and I am one of the high school outreach coordinators here at Central Penn. We're going to take a little tour to show you some of the many nice things here on campus. We're standing in front of our Advanced Technology Education Center, or ATEC for short, which houses many classrooms and departments. You can find our computer lab with 3 printing, our applied science labs, our eSports Gaming Center. We also have our Learning Center staffed with personnel to assist you with study skills, writing assignments, or tutoring for a specific class. Our Education Foundation also is located in ATEC and offers scholarships two times per year. Make sure to keep your eyes open for those. Let's go inside. Welcome to our night and day cafe. Here's where our students eat their meals and socialize. There's a variety of options available here for students. There's plenty of room to eat in the cafe, and you can also take your food to go. Here's one of our lab classrooms that's set up to give real-world experience to our allied health students. As you can see, these rooms are a little more unique than most other classrooms. The desks are massage tables that can be used to practice therapy exercises or measure range of motion. The equipment located throughout the lab is used to learn hands-on skills. It's such a nice day today. How about if we head outside and see some other parts of our beautiful campus? Welcome to your own bridge to success. 
our historic Kenzie's Bridge. Hey Amy, are you giving a tour? Yes, Jaime, how are you? I'm you want to join us? Absolutely. Hey everybody, my name is Jaime Ramos and I am also a high school outreach coordinator here at Central Penn College. A fun fact about the bridge right behind us is that one of the college's former presidents purchased this 1800s era bridge at an auction for just $22. How about Amy? We head to the center of campus to show them what we have. Welcome to the center of our campus. Where we are right now is our quad area, the site of fun activities throughout the year, including our back to class blast, fall harvest, and so much more. To my right is Bollinger Hall, where you can find the officer residence site, the mailroom, public safety, as well as our advising center, career resources, and a 24 7 night owl, which is our computer lab for our students. Back towards me, one of our most unique features of our campus is our outdoor pool. We have a campus wide Wi-Fi available for you, so on warm days, you can find students studying poolside and enjoying the sun. To my left, right here is Milano Hall, named after our college president who bought Central Penn from downtown Harrisburg to beautiful suburban Summerdale. Now we're gonna head back to the underground where we'll meet back up with Amy. The underground has something for everyone. Let's go join Jaime. If you're looking for a place to relax and hang out with friends, head here to the student lounge. In our underground here, there is also a fitness center and a dance studio so you can stay fit and active. Now that we're done checking out our underground, let's go check out our student housing. Follow me. Hey everybody, welcome to our super suite. It's time to show you around. Students love our super suites. It is the best of both worlds. You share a common area with up to six other students, but every student has their very own room. The suites come furnished with furniture, microwave, compact fridge, and you and your sweetmates can choose to bring your own TV and gaming systems. You share the bathroom with only one other person, and you can see the shower and the vanity are conveniently separated. Each bedroom in our super suite comes with a desk, a chair, and a bed that can be adjusted for height and a dresser as well. You can decorate it in your own way. If you choose to bring a small fridge, you're more than welcome to do that, and you can also bring a TV if you'd like. The beds are twin XL, which makes it really nice and roomy. You've heard all about our housing scholarship already. That housing scholarship gives you the opportunity to experience our residential campus here at Central Penn College. That's our tour. Thank you for joining us. We would love to invite you to campus for our in-person tour. If you would prefer, you can also visit centralpenn.edu for our self-guided virtual tour. Thank you and go Knights. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour. So you can see briefly if you haven't been to campus. Um, now, if you do want to come and visit campus and see um, the beautiful walk um, that we take every day around here, um, please just reach out to your admissions counselor or to myself, and we will set up a tour guide to take you around campus. Um, so just let us know if you're interested in coming to campus at all, and we're happy to do that. Now I'm going to go on to some of our questions. Um, so I did see some pop up in the chat. So if you're still thinking of some, feel free to put them in there. Um, the first question I saw, hold on, I'm scrolling up guys. And I see, what is the difference between an intersection and a minor? Kelly, do you want to take that one? Yes. The intersection is the humanities. So they are trying to have you take your humanities that are all in an actual section. And then the minor is an add-on to your degree. So if you're majoring in business, but you love computers, but you don't wanna major in computers, you could add a minor to your degree in IT. So that's what's great. It gives you some options, not only just be in your actual major, but to choose your humanities and then choose kind of like an add-on for the degree. Okay, thank you, Kelly. All uh, right, and how do we apply? So I think we covered that one already and I saw that Amy did put in um, the link. Um, so if you just click there um, as well in the chat, um, if you guys scroll up, you'll be able to click on that and then apply there. Um, the next question is how much should the meal plans cost? Kelly, do you wanna take that one? 
Yep, we have a variety of meal plans. They range from $484 a term up to $1,500. And our meal plans are declining balances. So you'll have the meal plan loaded to your ID card. And every time you swipe your card, then the money just comes off. So if you get a bagel and coffee and it's $2, now instead of having $484, you have $482. So you just keep using the cards until the funds are depleted. Most students living on campus do start at the $690 meal plan. All right, Kelly, it looks like the floor is yours constantly today. Ooh, okay. um, or maybe Amy might want to jump in, but um, what is the visitor's policy on campus? There are no visitors the first week of classes, midterms or finals. Otherwise, you can't have visitors on campus. You just register them with the Office of Residence Life. Just let them know that they're staying there and you are always welcome to have visitors, just not those three weeks of classes. Otherwise, they are welcome here on campus. Okay. I I think this question is how much do the suites cost? Oh, yep, that's me. So the suites would cost $1,452 a term, but the housing scholarship does cover that for you so that you would just be responsible for the meal plan and utilities. Okay, thank you. Um, and then what's it like to be a first year student here? Amy Reinhold, do you wanna take that? Yes, I was. Like you talk, I'll give Kelly I a break. Prepared to answer the question. Um, so, oh my gosh, that's that's a loaded question. There's a lot of fun things to do. We do have a what's Janet's title? We we have a um, director of first year experience. Director, thank you, director of first year experience, Janet Bickler, Bixler. Um, she's amazing. Everyone loves her. That you can go to with questions and things like that. But honestly. Our students are pretty tight knit. So I, this is all just my opinion. So you guys can can throw in some stuff here too. Um, but just the other day I was taking a tour with um, a potential student and a current student stopped and was chatting with us for quite a while um, and saying how great it was, the, the nice, the, the small campus, the small nice atmosphere where everyone kind of knows everyone and uh, really gets along. It's a beautiful, like peaceful campus. With, with lots of things to do and lots of people to help you. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, I will say, I'm just gonna chime in for a minute there that a lot of our students say it feels like a second family to them when they come here. Um, you're, I know people say it all the time, but like for real here, um, <laughs> You're not just like another number in the crowd, like people actually know your name um, when we walk across the bridge and we see you in the classrooms. Um, so you get to know us as well as we get to know you. So I think that's a, a big advantage as well. And especially like for our um, physical therapy assistants and our um, occupational therapy assistants that have a cohort model um, in some of our certificates too, because you kind of move through that whole program with that same group of people. So like Amy was saying, like you do get very close knit um, with the people in your program, but uh, also like student services has a lot of different clubs and activities that Jaime mentioned um, during his presentation. So there's always some event happening on campus. Um, so, and not only do like the students come, but also your, your professors and all of us that are on this call, you'll see us at the green team lawn party and, you know, virtual bingo and um, all those fun things um, that we do too. So, Definitely when you come here, get involved um, because uh, you'll get to meet a lot of great people. All right, I'll stop talking. Next question. <laughs> um, let's see. Like, okay, so are there big classes with a lot of students or a little? Um, so I believe that our current um, ratio of a student um, to professor is 15 to one. Um, so we do have um, nice small class sizes. Um, now some of your gen eds could be a little bigger. So I believe you could go up to about 20, 25 um, max in like an English 101 class or a math, but your core classes that are program specific, you're looking at a 15 to one. And then the cohort models um, are a little different. So with OTA, you're looking at 18 to one. And um, with PTA, about the same, um, I believe too. They can go anywhere between like 18 um, to 30 because they do have some lab um, spaces available for them. All right, and then, when do you know when you are accepted into the program? Amy, do you wanna take that one or do you want me to take it? 
I can take it. Okay. So a couple of the different programs have a little bit of different requirements, maybe OTA, PTA, health science. Um, in general, your admissions counselor will probably help you through the process. So normally there's certain things that you'll know ahead of time that you that you need to do. They were mentioned, um, the essay, um, basically get us your transcripts and do your interview. After you have all those things turned in, you should be um, ready to be accepted. Um, as I mentioned, OTA, PTA, and health science have a little bit different requirements that um, your admissions counselor would work, work through you with. So does that... Yes. So usually you get your admissions decision once you get all those documents in um, within 24 to 48 hours, um, barring that it's not a weekend, um, then you have to give me at least an extra day to review everything. Um, but for most um, decisions, usually you find out um, once you have that in and within a day or two of um, getting all those documents in. Um, you'll work closely with your admissions counselor, so they'll let you know what you're missing when they receive things. Um, so any documents like that. Um, and Miranda, I can reach out to you too. I know we've been working together on the specifics of that. And um, let's see, another question is, um, how can I know if I have everything needed to be accepted? Um, you can ask your admissions counselor, but Sydney, I can let you know too. Um, so I'll reach out to you after this um, program. And how long does it take to find out if, oh wait, did I already read that one? Sorry. <laughs> being accepted. Is it mandatory to live on campus? Kelly? It is not mandatory, but again, we are covering the cost of housing so that you would only have to pay for the meal plan and utilities, but you do not have to live on campus. All right, and it's also important to note too that even if you decide to live on campus like your first term and you decide you're homesick and you wanna go home, you can always move back home. Um, or if you start here and you're like, I'm gonna commute and you decide, hey, you know what? It'd be really cool if I could live here. Um, you just stop in and talk to Kelly or your admissions counselor and um, we'll get that all worked out for you. So it's not a decision that you, know, you always have to make or sometimes you don't make before you start. Um, we can always talk about that as you're going through the process as well. All right, these are great questions, guys. All right, are there any other ones? All right, well, you guys have been so great with us this afternoon. I want to make sure that you have a chance to win some of our door prizes. So I will turn it over to Amy um, Robuff, and she will pull some names and tell you what you won. Okay, so our last joke is what is a basketball player's favorite restaurant? Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs>